And we will start, mate, at Arsenal. The North London derby, much anticipated. Yeah. Two teams going in mm. in pretty good form, unbeaten, really. Yeah, and, both um, unbeaten. You know, it's like, uh, yeah, really good form. I, I mean, I thought it was a fascinating game of football, Rob. We'll, we'll yeah. get into the details, of course. Mm. Um, maybe before we get into that, Rob, the, the, just the lineups and the big story, wasn't it, yeah. with the goalkeeper? I know yeah. the show started today with a big mm -hmm. look at David Wright yeah. coming in and he was selected again. I think Tim felt that was going to happen and yeah. Tim feels that that this move to Arsenal is mm. absolutely to replace Aaron Ramsdale as a number one. Now, yeah. just... You know, of course, right now, David Raya is only a, li a loan signing mm. with the option, I think, not an obligation, an option to buy yeah. at the end of the season. Um, just quick, just give us a quick line, Rob. I mean, it, 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 yeah. is this it um, or, or it, is this going to be a few games and then they switch over again? Well, I, I thought today was telling, Robin, and I've got to admit, um, last night I was thinking about it and I thought, hmm, I wonder if he goes back to Ramsdale today. Big game, North London derby. He's played in those big games. Yeah. He's never let anybody yeah. down. And then, then we'll see, is, mm -hmm. it, is it a bit of a balance between the two or is it one or the other? The moment he, he, he's gone for Raya, and Tim's been down this road from the very day that they sign that Rye is going in mm. as number one it would seem mm. that Tim's right Rob mm. and that um, Anne Ramsdale as much as he's supporting from the side and his big personality looks like he's going to be number two and for his England ambitions for the Euros coming up it's going to be interesting to see if and at what stage he decides he needs to maybe move from the football club Rob to play first team football because he's, he's not going to be happy sitting on the side I mean, are we, are we, are we to, if we're to believe Mikel Arteta, though, Rob, yeah. th this is going to be about two players for every position and, and, and some Correct. kind of rotation. Yeah. Do, do you st I mean, I still think there is a possibility in about two or three games to say, you know what, well done, brilliant, did mm. nothing wrong, like Ramsdale yeah. didn't. Yeah. Now, now it's Ramsdale's turn to get to keep sharp and to keep fit. And they might have, you know, three or four games each, you know, mm. I, I know, nobody in the game thinks that's the right thing to do. No, no. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing out the last yeah, lifeline. It, it, it's, it's different, for Rob. Ramsdale, Rob. We know Mikel Arteta makes some decisions that are different. He, he probably thinks things. He's got, he's got a developed mind. I think he, he's interested in, in trying things. And, and in some ways, he's saying, like any other player on the pitch, there's competition for places, and some will play one week and some will play the others I just think the, the goalkeeping mm. position Rob is so unique and so in that the, the work yeah, that you do you know even as an outfield player I'm, I'm putting ourselves in this situation like you, you need to know which keeper you got for me week in week out is he somebody who comes for crosses is he somebody who stays on his line is he somebody who likes left foot right foot how does he look like the ball play there's all those little dynamics and nuances that you get through relationships I just think swapping and changing even if it's every three or four games I'm not quite sure mm. I think you lose something there Rob and, and I'd be surprised if he does I'm not saying that Ramsdale won't get certain games and maybe cup competitions and whatever but mm. it would seem to me at this stage mm. that Raya you know, has certainly done nothing mm. wrong. A couple of clean sheets, made a couple of saves today. Looks like he's going to be number one. Yeah, it looked good today. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it looked good today, Rob. I thought it looked good. He's so sharp with his feet. Um, just ready to play mm. out. Made some good saves, as you said. Just Can final I, just, thing on it for me, oh, Rob. Sorry, go, on, I was yeah, thinking, finish. go on then. No, finish your point, mate. And uh, okay. I'll come back I, Oh, oh, just what was just on the goalkeeper situation? Yeah, I, I was thinking the other day about it, and it's like the goalkeeper is like another captain. Well, obviously, you have a captain of the football team yeah. that's kind of an important player within that team. Yeah. I think being a goalkeeper has a, as much responsibility as a captain, it's a leader, it's a main leader in a team. Mm. And if you keep changing that position, it affects everybody else. Yeah. You know, in and around that critical area of the, of the 18 yard box, there's nobody more important than your goalkeeper to direct to 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 make sure everybody's picked up and, and all the things that needs to yeah. be done and, and that's it's such an important mm. position and if that's going to keep changing it's like changing your leader your, your captain yeah, all yeah. the time you know directs the way that you, you you line up the walls or you know there's so many details mm. that makes it an, an extraordinary position to keep changing but again I just that's my last thought on uh, you know on, on, on switching the two goalkeepers so, so my last thought and, and it was just again a thought that I had in terms of, of the two goalkeepers I'm kind of thinking in my head Rob what what made M Mikel Arteta move in this direction? Feel he needs to make this move in this direction. Now, competition for places, I get. Was Aaron Ramsdale at fault last season? In a few games, he made mistakes, but I think you can say that about them all. I think he, he would have learnt from that. Mm. So, 
I'm wondering yeah. reasons, Rob, and, 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 and I'm going down a road, and it, again, it's just my thoughts. It might be wrong. I don't know. I'm wondering if the mm. personality of Ramsdale is something with Ote. You know, he looks like... Is it... He's, he's a public character. He was a strong personality. We saw that in the emotional. documentary. But he's he can be a bit emotional. And I'm wondering if... if when, mm. I see, when I see David Raya today, mate, and he made a really good save from Brennan Johnson in the first half, where he gets his hand to the ball and thing, there's no drama mm. about mm. David Raya. He makes a save, a great save. Mm. He just gets up and gets on with his business. I sometimes think with Ramsdale, a bit like, mm. like Pickford, there's a bit of... I don't know, showbiz about it. There's a bit of noise. There's a bit of going mm. and... Go, go. Mm. I think this guy's mm. a little bit more tempered. And I'm wondering if yeah. Arteta mm. feels in big moments, mm. in big games, when the pressure's on, Raya's personality might be mm. better suited. Mm. Maybe. Yeah, m maybe, mm. Rob. I mean, I don't know. We we'll see mm. how it plays out. I mean, Absolutely. You know, they're, it's they're two excellent goalkeepers. Yeah. Um, it's it's going to be fascinating. And the game was fascinating, Rob, for me. Mm. The game was the game was fascinating for me. Um, you know, the 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 the, the, the tempo was as expected. The yeah. atmosphere was expected. Yeah. Really, really hot atmosphere. Mm. Very high press. Very aggressive press from Arsenal, Rob. And the first thing Absolutely. that 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 comes to mind with this game was that press from Arsenal. Mm. That plan to stop Spurs playing. Yeah. And the stubbornness and the persistence of Tottenham, Rob, yeah, to, to continue to play out from yeah. the goalkeeper, mm. to to keep trying and trying and trying and trying. And yeah. there was two, at least two occasions where they make mistakes, mm. they get caught on the ball. Jesus should have scored to make it yeah. two 0 You know, it is it is with risks. Mm. And Postacoglu has said many times it's going to be scary at times for Spurs <laughs> fans to watch them do it. But I got to say, I do respect the way that they did it. Yeah. It's hard work for Arsenal, Rob, mm. in doing that press it's hard work yeah. and I felt certainly towards the last 10-15 minutes of the first half that, that the Spurs yeah. started they started to find ways through and Arsenal got a little tired of, of, of that press and and by the way it's just a big picture on, on this one theme throughout the game yeah. second half again I thought that Arsenal couldn't couldn't slash wouldn't didn't want to put that energy in to try yeah. and high press all the time and mm. Spurs it's almost like they kept going and going yeah. and going it's almost like the manager's like listen we've been here I've been here before with different teams mm. and yeah it's difficult and yeah we're going to give up goals and we're going to give up chances but in my experience the, the, the continued play play pass 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 mm. that it, 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 it finds a way through and when they did get through even in the first half by the way yeah. they looked dangerous mm. when they got through that press and again it wasn't many times Times Arsenal won the the territory kind of yeah. war, if you like, in, in terms of where the game was played for the majority. But I just I thought that was admirable of of, the, of Spurs, mm. their new team, this new look, this new manager, and saying I don't care, this is the way to go. And and it's almost like wow, we're kind of seeing it play out, like like yeah. you you, yeah. you know, because lots of people say, look at it, Rob. Sorry, mate, I'm going on a little bit. No, but lots, no, lots of people look at it and, and say mm. and say. Um, Go! Why are they doing this? They're giving up all the chances. And it's risky football, yeah. and you know what? What are they? He's a lucky boy, and all this stuff. But but there's got to be a method behind the madness. Yeah. And I thought over the course of the game, and of course it was a, I thought it was a fair result actually at two two. Mm. You saw that style find its way through that pressing, mm. and then more progression into the game, and, and it became I thought an even game in the second half. I, I just thought that was a, the big takeaway for me, Rob, is that the style mm. and, the, and the manager and, and the Spurs manager wants to play that way. It was really interesting you say that, mate, because we haven't obviously spoken um, since, since the game mm. was played, first thing. And it's interesting that, that you know, we do a tactic session uh, on the NBC Sports YouTube channel, yeah. the tactic session. A tactic session was Arsenal's How early was press that? that could have won, them, you know, and, and Jesus miss on 32 minutes, mm. which would have put them 2 0 up. And then second off, Spurs starting to continue, had a little bit more press, had energy, and, and won the game through nicking the ball off Giorgino. So, similar thought, actually. And, and listening to Potter Cogley, well, I listened to his, his, his post match interview a couple of times this, week, this weekend, Rob, because I wanted to make sure I got the detail and the understanding. And a couple of things he said no restrictions, we go to Spurs. I can't tell my team to play any different going to Spurs and then want them to, to revert back next week. He said, that isn't going how to it Arsenal. works. Yeah. To go, sorry, go to, to Arsenal. Yeah. He said, that isn't how it works. Yeah. I, we've got to believe in what we do and we've got to believe in what we do is going to win us games. And as you say, there's going to be a few moments that ain't great. I thought Arsenal were particularly good on the press. Jesus is, is a master at, mm. uh, at winning the ball back and hunting yeah. it down. I thought he was excellent in, in that first half. But as you say, Spurs, I thought Arsenal lost a little bit of their drive, a bit of energy, their, their structure with, with Declan Rice in the second half. And as you say, Spurs continue to play. They looked, um, I thought they, they continue to look a threat when they, when they
they played through that press and in the end I, I agree with you I thought a duel was a fair result but I, 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 w- I thought it was admirable that in what were we six mm. Premier League games and however few mm. months he's been in charge the Postacoglu can have mm. the belief in his group and the group can have the mm. belief in themselves to continue to do what they do and know that you know what I think it's born out of Rob if that's Mourinho or that's Conte and you make a mistake he's probably dragging you off or you're getting hammered or he's putting you putting you out there Postacoglu is not that guy mm. I, I, absolutely right and um there's so many things, Rob, just to comment, and we don't want to spend too long on it, because. but there's so many important things I thought in the game, performances yeah. particularly. When I look at uh, Spurs, Rob, and I think half the team, I think it's John Champion and Comanche said that half the team are new mm. to this Spurs lineup. Yeah, and, young and, you know, well. Some of them hadn't played mm. in North London Derby before. Um, very young team it is. Yeah. Uh, and just a few standouts. First off, Hyomin Sun playing as a striker. Brennan Johnson started the game, Rob, and I yeah. think... I, I would have said as well that maybe Johnson stays up, plays up we front. We thought he might Hyomin be central, Sun to the yeah. left-hand side. Yeah. Yeah, and I would have said the same thing. Um, it, Son is now going to be a striker, Rob, mm. isn't he? He's going to be mm. a striker for the for the for the club. He's got a couple of goals today. He looks the part. You know, he leads very well. I saw the manager's interviews about afterwards about the way that he played. He was struggling with an injury. That's probably why he got substituted out oh, of the game. Okay. And, and to be fair, I thought the Spurs weren't. He, he was struggling going into the yeah. game, Rob. I think he had some niggle. Oh, okay. Um, that probably explains why he came out because yeah. at the time I was like, why? Why, mm. why are you taking out? Yeah, you know, him. the best attacking mm. player. And I thought Spurs actually were never as good with, yeah. with uh, Richarlison in, in place of him. Um, other players I I, um, I thought were, were excellent. Uh, Ipasuma midfield. I mean, I know he's been mentioned before, Rob, yeah. but Basuma, Blimenek. I I, know, I think I know that he. I know that he's really good on the ball. He's technical and he can play, and he's got yeah. great vision. He can he can play around corners and he's clever. He manoeuvres the ball lovely. But I, I, he surprised me with his physicality, actually, Rob. For sometimes he tracked back yeah. um, really well. He was strong. He was a, he's over aggressive. I think in the one moment where he got a yellow card, when he rushed up to the goalkeeper, I thought Ibrahimovic was very good. And I'm going to continue on with my with my uh, my appreciation of players in in this week's underappreciated performer. Mm. It's a Tottenham Hotspur player, and uh, it's kind of kind of early. I'm going kind of early on him. Um, Mickey Van der Ven, yeah. Mickey Van der Ven, this young, quick central defender they brought into the club. I thought there. You talk about no no drama. Yeah. He is he is a, a really compo- a composed footballer. We know about his pace. I think he makes really well-timed challenges many of the times. Very comfortable on the ball. He's got great mm. height, great presence. And he's quietly he's quietly proving to be a, a, an excellent acquisition, Rob, because yeah. we know how difficult it is to find players to play at this level in that position, um, playing alongside Romero, who can be a little bit frenetic and temperamental, yeah. well, temperamental, but over-aggressive and... Mm. Not e- probably not an easy partner to have. So I just think somebody to watch is partly underappreciated, partly yeah. everybody watch him a little bit. When you see Spurs, just watch him mm. because it's so easy when you watch a game to, to focus on the ball and your eye goes with the ball and your eye goes with the, the attacking yeah. players and the movements. Just switch your vision in the game to look at defenders and look at Van der Ven and how he reads play, mm. never gets caught out and he's got that pace up in yeah. what he does. So yeah. just somebody, you know, from the weekend, I'm like, hmm. And I, I just think... In that sort of environment, mm. in that kind of game, that atmosphere, he had a he had a very very good game. Was there one? I'm just trying to think of one mistake he made. I think he made one mistake. I can remember him now putting his hands up. Just a bad ball. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. he was immaculate. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good shot, mate. I, I, I've got him down where, where I think they're, they're a nice mix, Romero and, and, and Van der Ven. It's mm. usually the older yeah. player who's a little bit more of the considered and the younger one's a bit hot-headed. It's the other way around here. Van der Ven's got a really nice demeanour, doesn't get too upset about things. Romero's got that little bit of fire that you want if it's controlled. Uh, he's quick, Rob. He's left-footed. He's really good on the build-up, comfortable to have the ball and, and play out the yeah. back. And you say that speed of recovery in his size, uh, I think it's a really good shout. Um, yeah. Especially when, when you think of, and, and you know, I, I don't want to pile on to it, but Eric Dyer, Rob, who we, we, we've been saying for years, and you just don't, there's no reliability no. in Eric Dyer. This young man's come yeah. in, um, you know, Dutch international, and looks like he's going to be somebody who you can build a platform on and build some some success. So, yeah, it's a really good shout, Van der Ven. Mm. Um, 
from mm. Spurs. For, for Arsenal, Rob, who did you think? I thought Jesus affected the game with, he, with his closing down and his ability. Just, I said to one of the, 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 our guys in, in the studio, if he could finish as well as he closed yeah. downs and win the balls, he, he'd, be, he'd be Erling Haaland yeah. type of, of level because yeah. he, he's brilliant yeah. at winning the ball back. Sometimes just gets a bit rash, doesn't balance himself, doesn't control himself when he finished. But I thought he was, he was a good spark for, mm. for uh, Arsenal. He, Saka, I thought, did start quite quite brightly and is involved in obviously with, with both the goals Odogi was on a yellow card mm. but I think managed managed him not bad I think that came out pretty even bet- between those, those two um, from Arsenal's mm. point of view there wasn't I wouldn't say there was many outstanding performances um, what, do you, what do you think of, of Declan mm. Rice and, and there was these rumours Rob that he's got a bit of a back injury that's why he came off some are talking about whether it was a, was a, might be a strain on the calf as well he didn't look best mm. pleased and obviously mm. that's probably because it's a North London derby yeah. he's involved you know I'm sure yeah. if Arteta can keep him on he, he would but I thought they, they yeah. lacked a little something in midfield. I thought they were easier to play against. I thought a bit of their energy and the drive went when he, when he was off the pitch. Yeah, it's interesting, Rob, because, you know, Jorginho came into the game mm. and actually played the ball around really nicely. Yeah, he got yeah. caught on the ball, didn't he? Got caught mm. on the goal for, for Chomin Son's second goal. Yeah. And, you know, it's like, wow, you know, that, that's, that's a direct hit. So I think, I think that the midfield is still... It's just not. It's just not finished. You know, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't know who's going to finish it off. Kai Havertz did come into the game. Mm. Uh, Fabio Vieira, Vieira played. Yeah, didn't, didn't have a big impact. No. The, the, I said it before. The Granite Xhaka miss is still a big miss for me. Mm. And, and because of Havertz is, is struggles a little bit in that position. It's a, it's a problem role. I thought yeah. they quite badly missed Gabriel Martinelli, Rob yeah. as a left winger. Yeah. He's a he's a star player for them, and when he doesn't play, and Trossard's injured as well, yeah. then you have an issue on that side. I thought that was a problem. So Arsenal, you know, I still, you know, again, my main, I still haven't seen the fully grooved Arsenal yeah, yet. Yeah. You know, and it was it was it it wasn't it wasn't a bad performance at mm. all. It had great energy, and there was there was uh, you know the fans are still of course right into it, and they're they're almost there, but they're still not quite. Yeah as grooved as we saw him last year. And, and I, the midfield position particularly, of course, it doesn't help when you haven't got one of your yeah, two amazing players, wingers playing yeah. in Martinelli. So, yeah, I mean, Jesus, you, know, you had a chance at 2-0. That, that's, the, that's the composure, isn't it? There's mm. one thing like that you'd want him to be as a complete player. It's just to, like, take, to exhale there, take yeah, a breath. Yeah. Maybe take the ball from. Just think about what, yeah. like a like an Henri there. Mm. An Henri there probably yeah. slows himself down. He maybe fakes. He takes it closer to the goal and side foots it in the corner. It's just yeah. a little, a little rash. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's not quite flowing for Arsenal as expected it, it, mm. it to be. Um, but it, isn't, two, it, isn't it important? You know, I, I, I hear your point, and 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 I totally agree. Mm. Isn't it important that for now, while it's not, they keep you know remain unbeaten if they can, continue to, to win games even if it's not as pretty as they'd like and hope the football yeah. comes. Because I, I, yeah. I read something interesting last week where they said, somebody said, if you compare Arsenal to last season, they're, 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 they're well short of that level of groove and rhythm, intensity mm. and passing. Yeah. But mm. maybe they're a bit steelier. Maybe they're a bit more experienced. Maybe they're finding ways in games that maybe mm. they wouldn't have last season. Maybe. So I, I don't know, but I, I agree with you. If they continue to keep going and then it clicks into gear, you know, once things settle down, maybe Martinelli comes back. Trossard is a, is a miss and gives them a little bit of a different mm. dimension up there. But um, I, I, mm. I, I agree with you. It's not quite clicking in, in the way that you like, but they're still unbeaten and they've still had a good start to the season. Rob, just, just finally on this game, I mm. just I did want to appreciate one more thing about Spurs that I enjoyed today, Rob, is that... You know, and of course we're learning all the time on, yeah. on this this version of Spurs. I thought at times they were very very tough today. Mm. We all know about the expansive yeah. football and playing out from the back and almost a total football style from the manager. Yeah. But I thought at times when they had to dig in, there was a there was a ton of great crosses, set pieces that came in yeah. from from Saka, particularly on that right hand side. I thought it defended really really strongly, and, and they were tough. Um, in in difficult moments, it, yeah. uh, that impressed me. And just just kind of just on the bigger picture with them, really. After six games, this manager Rob, it it, yeah. it, it, it looks like it's such a positive vibe and also an identity. Mm. There there mm. really is an identity. I, I feel like if I watch them now, I know exactly what they're going to do. I yeah. know exactly how they're going to try and play. I know what what things they can go to. I know what uh, you know. I, I know what their movements are from the fullbacks. They continue to do their thing. 
I, I just think it's got to be hard to get such an identity mm. with good results, and it's so different to what it was under the previous yeah. managers. It's that that's pretty special. And um, there was a quote from a Spurs player. It might have been James Madison, sort of saying that there's a really there's a really good vibe around the place, yeah. as if like this is the start of something special with this guy and this team. Again, it's six games in. Yeah. This is a good result from them. I just wanted to give a final bit of praise for the job that the manager's done yeah. in such a short period of time, given how different it is to what some of these players are used to. Yeah, it's a good point. I, I, actually, James Madison, after the game, I think on social media, we got told, it sort of put something out saying, you know, fight, you know, prepare mm. to dig deep, you know, hung in there, got, got yep. a good share of the points, not so spursy as though, like, this team are determined that they're not going to fall yeah. into that barrier. And on my notes, mm. Rob, I, I put yep. two things down, uh, a couple of things down today in terms of Spurs. I said, it's a, it's a football test because you go into Arsenal, can have the ball thing, but it's a personality test as well for Spurs. It's about, can you still be Spurs? Mm. Can you still do what you want to do away from home at one of the best teams in the league? And they did, they continued to do that. They got a point and um, it's probably a better point for mm. them than it, than it is for Arsenal. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.